Zelensky. Senator, uh, thank you very much for being back on the show. I know this issue of military aid to Ukraine is one you have a high interest in. It is, uh, Haley. Good to be with you. And uh, look, uh, when I was the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, we passed the Ukraine Freedom Support Act. It had broad bipartisan support, as it continues to have uh, today in the United States Senate. Uh, at a time that Ukraine is having a day of national remembrance for all of those lives that have been mm -hmm. lost because of the Russian invasion uh, into uh, Ukraine, uh, and those uh, Ukrainian soldiers who were lost, we get a message that the president is seeking to cut off $250 million, something that we haven't been advised of at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. So the so president what? here is, it's totally, uh, I, I can't understand, it's not, there's no good policy reason. This isn't about money. We gave a record amount of money uh, to the administration in this past deal. So either, either the president uh, is uh, somehow compromised he is either spineless as it relates to standing up uh, to Putin, or he's infatuated with his authoritarian figure in Putin. I'm told in conversations with a senior administration on this, uh, senior administration official, Senator, that the president, this is intended, and this is what they say, is looking for good governance here, making sure that the money is being spent appropriately and that allies internationally are also paying their fair share. I'm also told that right now nothing has changed, right? That money is still out there. It could be obligated, could be spent before the end of the fiscal year, at least right now, since the president has not made a decision on it. Does any of that give you comfort? And if not, what's, what, what message do you think this sends to Vladimir Putin? Well, first of all, we're all for good governance, and we have been insisting with Ukraine uh, to continue to pursue reforms as it relates to good governance. We have a new president in Ukraine, President Zelensky, and the last thing we should be doing is undercutting his reform movements by taking away America's support. And number two is we, this seems to be the work uh, of Vladimir Putin. Probably telling uh, Donald, uh, just, you know, you don't need to be spending that money there. Uh, at the end of the day, we're not going to do anything. Well, Putin has been continuously engaged not only in the annexation of Crimea, which continues, which is why he was kicked out of the, the, what was the G8, but continues to have Russian soldiers uh, in eastern Ukraine uh, in a continuous fight to destabilize uh, Ukraine and to keep it and to try to keep it in a Russian orbit. So we should be standing up to Putin. Uh, but this president seems incapable incapable of standing up to Putin. Mm -hmm. If anything, he seems to do his work, whether it's advocating for him to return to the G7 and make it the G8, whether it is the lack of sanction enforcement okay. or sanction opportunities uh, involved in our elections, and so much more.